after an NFL draft happens, it's fun to go back and get the inside scoop, get the inside stories on some of the picks, which coaches, which coordinators, which scouts, which GMs were just like, this is going to be our guy pounding on the table, standing on the table. And one of them is R- Vikings rookie six round pick wide receiver Jalen Naylor coming out of the Michigan State University. Apparently receiver coach uh, Keenan McCardle, uh, the only position coach holdover from the previous regime is just like, He's my guy. He's our guy. We need him pounding on the table, man. And something uh, really cool that Quasey did in the draft is that he, uh, it, most GMs, uh, uh, they'll meet with the media after every single pick, and they'll explain why I, I, the general manager, selected this player. But something cool that Quasey did is that he put out scouts, and uh, on Naylor, he put out uh, director of college scouting, Mike uh, Sholeton. And it, it's really good for uh, the, the scouts and up-and-coming guys, uh, maybe uh, people who want to be GMs someday, getting a little bit of media training and getting their face out there. And uh, uh, don't even sleep on these things because some of these uh, you know, some of these quick media hits talking about a player, talking about uh, a prospect coming in, you know, decision makers, owners, uh, team presidents see this as like, hey, this guy can articulate extremely well his vision, what he saw in this player, how he's going to fit into the scheme. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. So it's very cool what Quasey is doing uh, with some of these uh, scouts and directors. So here's what he had to say about Jalen Naylor. Reporter asked, I think it was Dave Campbell, how do the coaches like Jalen Naylor's skill set? Shaliton, one of the best things he does is after the catch. We're always looking for guys who can finish and score. I know Keenan McCardle was in there pounding the table for him. I know they spent a lot of time with him. They did a FaceTime with him just to get to know him a little better. We're excited to see what he can do learning from the coaching staff and the veteran group around him. And Jalen Naylor, he's a stud. Uh, just looking back at his Michigan State tape, I understand health is an issue, but when when he was on the field and dialed in, he was just an absolute monster. He was a lot of fun to watch. And also, uh, Keenan McCardle, it, we talked about how you know, Kevin O'Connell m- maybe sees a little bit of himself in Kellen Mond because uh, they had very similar NFL story arcs. And McCardle, he came in as a six foot one, 191-pound receiver in the 12th round in the 12th round out of UNLV. And Jalen Naylor, he's 5'11", a buck 86. Uh, also, he went to Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. Well, he's originally from California. He transferred to Bishop Gorman so that he could get recruited, get a college scholarship, but they had that Vegas connection right there. And he had a very productive career at Michigan State, again, when he was on the field. 86 catches, 1,454 yards, receiving 12 touchdowns, as well as a solid punt and kick returner. I think that he probably will be the favorite to be the punt returner uh, in 2022. And he had a decent final season in East Lansing, 38 catches, 692 yards, receiving six touchdowns, 18.2 yards per catch, which was second in the Big Ten, as well as a 77 PFF grade. And also, uh, as Shaleen mentioned in his interview, is that every single game that Naylor played for Michigan State in 2021, they won. Uh, so all, all the kid does is win. And if you look at the Vikings receiver room, so you could have made a case that the Vikings should should have and could have gone receiver early in the draft. I I, I don't know. Jamison Williams at 12 or Christian Watson at 34. Who knows? I'm just throwing names out there. But the Vikings, uh, I, I think that Kwesi uh, understood that this is a very deep wide receiver class. And even though there was a run on wide receivers early, mainly because teams wanted to offset some of the cap hits uh, from instead of having to pay wide receivers, uh, there was a ton of value day three. I think Jalen Naylor coming in, there's no pressure on him. Him. There's no pressure on him to be the guy. So I think that he can just fly under the radar. He can secure the punt return job. I think that he can secure you know, a wide receiver five job. And everything else is wide open besides Justin Brigham Jefferson, the best receiver in the game. You got Thielen still has some trend in the tire. KJ really rose up last year. Hopefully he can continue this year. And then you have question marks. You got ISM. Speaking of speed for days uh, for a Big Ten late day three wide receiver, I think that he is uh, has untapped potential. B.C. Johnson, uh, who we talked about yesterday, I think that him coming back from the ACL is sort of the forgotten guy. It's not like he forgot how to run roots, right? And then you got Diamond Dangerson and Blake Prohl, et cetera. So I think that Jalen Naylor has a great opportunity where he can play some special teams early on. He can get a couple of reps in there uh, as a you know, wide receiver, four, five, six, and then eventually he can rise up because I, I don't know if B.C. Johnson will be back uh, next year. I, I don't know how long Adam Thielen is going to be here. You know, K.J., after his rookie season or after his rookie deal is up uh, after next year, what's going to happen with him? Don't know. But uh, Jalen Naylor... He already has an ally in his court in Keenan McCardle, and I think that he will have every opportunity. Again, 
knocking on all the wood. If he stays healthy, I think that his suddenness, I think that his explosiveness, I think that his ability after the catch really brings a fun factor to the Vikings uh, receiver room. So I can't wait to see him on the field for the Vikes. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Uh, Keenum Cardle, Vikings receiver coach, was pounding the table uh, for six-round pick out of Michigan State, Jalen Naylor. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.